Welcome to the Oxygen Alliance YouTube channel, where we bring you videos on installation, maintenance, and various trainings on oxygen equipment and devices. If you have comments and or questions, drop them in the comment section below or write to us, info at oxygenalliance.org. Remember to like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell. Hello, and welcome to Oxygen Alliance YouTube channel. My name is Victor Zembe. I am a biomedical engineer for Oxygen Alliance. Today, I'm going to make a demonstration on how to perform the Abimeda tank pressure test on a Deville Base 525 oxygen concentrator. The accumulator tank, also known as the product tank, holds the concentrated oxygen produced by the oxygen concentrator. And from this tank, it is released through a pressure regulator and a flow meter to the patient outlet port. The pressure in the accumulator tank is one of the vital signs of the performance of the oxygen generation process. It helps in finding different problems with the oxygen concentrator. Checking the accumulator tank pressure can reveal a variety of possible problems with different parts of the oxygen concentrator, such as the compressor, rotary valve, and check valves, which may result in no oxygen purity. Now, I will make a demonstration of how to perform this test. Make sure your oxygen concentrator is switched off before you start this process. To successfully perform this test, you require the following tools. A T25 screwdriver for opening the oxygen concentrator cabinet. If you don't have a T25 screwdriver, you can use the flathead screwdriver. You also need a pressure gauge and a pressure test assembly. So the pressure test assembly is made up of an adapter and a 1.6 mm tubing. In our case, we have used tubings of various sizes reducing to a diameter of 1.6 mm so that it can be connected to the testing point. There is a link in the description below of a video that shows how to open a Devilbis 1025 oxygen concentrator, which is a similar process for this 525 oxygen concentrator. After you have successfully opened the oxygen concentrator, you can now see the accumulator tank that we are talking about. It has a manifold which has the pressure test point where we will do our pressure test. For other models, this test point is located on a T fitting. The test point is covered with a tubing cap. So before starting the test, you have to remove the tubing cap. Now I'm going to remove the tubing cap. And then now I will connect the tubing from the pressure gauge to the test point. Now I will connect the oxygen concentrator to power using the power cable. Now I will turn on the oxygen concentrator. and then set the flow rate to the maximum rated flow rate. So for this model, the maximum rated flow rate is 5 liters per minute. Okay. 
So before starting to take the pressure readings, you have to wait for five minutes. Now I'll turn on the gauge to observe the pressure readings in the accumulator tank. We expect that the pressure readings in the gauge will rise and fall, and therefore the high and low pressures have to be consistent. As you can see, our readings are ranging from 19.4 PSI to 22.2 PSI. Note that these pressures are affected by the type of the optimal concentrator system, altitude, as well as the flow rate. And also, the systems can either be high pressure systems or low pressure systems. You can differentiate a low pressure system from a high pressure system by looking at the color code or the top side of the manifold. So for a low pressure system, the top side of the manifold has a white color. And for a higher pressure system, the top side of the manifold has a black color. So for our system, it's a low pressure system because it has a white top. There is a link in the description below of a table showing the relationship between the oxygen concentrator system, the altitude, and pressure. As mentioned earlier, the pressure readings in the accumulator tank are also affected by altitude. In our case, our altitude is approximately 900 meters. According to our observations, the readings are normal because they are falling in the range of 16 PSI to 25 PSI for the low pressure system with a pressure swing of 3 PSI during each cycle. When the pressure readings are lower than expected, it might indicate clogged filters, blockage in the tubing before the accumulator tank, or a photo compressor. When the pressure readings are dropping too low during each cycle change, you might need to check the check marks or the manifold for any leakages. When high pressures and low pressures are inconsistent during each cycle, it might indicate a problem with the rotary valve, so you might need to check the rotary valve or if the wire harness is connected properly on the board. Once you are done with the testing, you can now disconnect the gauge from the testing point and replace the tubing cap. I hope you have learned something from this video. Make sure you comment if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye.